Today, we're diving into the incredible life of Dr. Levi Watkins Jr., a trailblazer who left a lasting impression on the medical world and fought for civil rights. Dr. Watkins began his journey in Parsons, Kansas, but it was in Montgomery, Alabama, where his story truly unfolded. Growing up, he attended the First Baptist Church and formed a close bond with Pastor Dr. Ralph David Abernathy. Inspired by Dr. King, he joined the civil rights movement, boycotting the segregated bus system in 1956. In 1962, Watkins entered Tennessee State University, where he became the first African-American admitted to the Vanderbilt School of Medicine. Despite facing isolation, he graduated with honors in 1966. Driven by a passion for medicine, Watkins studied at Harvard Medical School, performing groundbreaking research into the renin angiotensin system in congestive heart failure. In 1980, he performed the first implantation of an automatic defibrillator, a device that has since saved over a million lives, a true pioneer in cardiac surgery. Beyond his medical achievements, Dr. Watkins fought for racial equality. By 1983, he successfully increased the number of black students at Johns Hopkins Medical School fivefold. Recognizing his exceptional contributions, Dr. Watkins was promoted to a full professor of cardiac surgery in 1990, leaving an enduring legacy in the medical field. Dr. Levi Watkins Jr., a true hero, member of Sigma Pi Phi and Alpha Phi Alpha fraternities, passed away in Baltimore, Maryland on April 18, 2015, at the age of 70. His impact on medicine and civil rights will never be forgotten. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories. And if there is someone you would like us to feature next, let us know in the comments. Until next time, stay curious.